gonna be stressful last night because straight out of Rukan the climbs began and uh, yeah it's a lot of climbing from now on it's like 15 k's of climbing just to start with the day so I needed to find a camp spot like really fast or because I wasn't too keen on looking for a camp spot all night long I was supposed to take a chill today but I talked to a friend of mine and he wants me to film him at Haukele tomorrow at 10 o'clock and it's 100 and 10 k's there, 1800 height meters of elevation gain. It might just not be a chill day after all. case almost 900 meter of elevation today so far so yeah it's been going slow it's been going real slow it's been a real struggle it was nice to to go over the mountain pass of uh, Hardanga Vida and, uh, and see all the snow that's still there but it's pretty cold I'm not gonna lie so struggling a little bit with uh, I had to dress this small wind jacket about a base layer works works really nice today I'm gonna continue with that I'm gonna have to maybe 40 case more and then we'll start to look for a campsite after that currently on the last proper climb of the day but you know, you always gotta save the best for last. This is no exception. Uh, 260 height meters, three or four kilometers, maybe five. It's been up and down all day. It's been actually 1200 height meters today on 72 kilometers. So, and with this setup, that's no joke. That's no joke at all. On the plus side, I got 370 height meters going back down again towards Haukli. So we made it down to Haukle. I think it was like four or five kilometers of just downhill. Super nice after that massive climb beforehand. Oh, it's nice to come down here to a grocery store again. It's far between, uh, you know, civilization in Norway. When you think about it, it's quite funny actually. I mean, it's been like 50 k's without any anything at all. Like no grocery store, no gas station, no nothing. And this is like the only one. And the next one is 50 k's away. You don't think about it when you drive the car, but uh, when you ride your bike, you definitely think about it. So I've done a little bit over 80 k's, 83 k's. The reason I did that many today is because I'm gonna meet up with a friend tomorrow up at the ski place and I wanted to get as far as possible today because he kind of pushed me a little bit and asked me if I could be at the bottom of the mountain 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Stupid as I am, I said yes. Then I noticed I had 110 k's to do over two days if I would make it, so. Not, uh, I should just learn to say no sometimes, but um, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna be able to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's still 35 k's from here and I'm pretty much done for the day, if you put it mildly. Eight o'clock now, so basically 12 hours from tent to tent, which is not ideal, but it um, doesn't matter. As long as I can relax, it doesn't matter if it's in the tent or at the grocery store, but I would like to spend more time in the tent and just relax and not stress about charging stuff elsewhere. But yeah, I'm only three or four days into the trip, so we'll see if I can find um, better ways to sort it. So that's another night done. 
uh, wrapped up, ready to go. Gonna meet uh, Frederick down at the campsite. And he's gonna pick me up the car. We're gonna drive to the mountains, ski, get back at the campsite where we're gonna stay at an apartment and then uh, just have a chill night. Yeah, and then I'll jump on my bike and uh, ride the same route uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Nice with a car ride for once, but uh, ugh, I'm pretty tired. But now we just parked next to the road and basically just looking at the face we're gonna ski today. Looks pretty cool, steep, but not too bad. So I think we're just gonna put on our boots and uh, start to skin towards the, the face. Mm. Currently booting up the, the face we're gonna ski. The sun is really taking its toll on both me, Frederick, and the mountain. So the snow is pretty rotten to the core, to be honest. So I think we're gonna get some nice terms. But uh, in this type of conditions and in this the season we're in now, if we're gonna ski uh, faces or couloirs that are facing our south, southwest, southeast, then uh, you should kind of get up early. Down before noon is a couloir in Hemsdal called that. And I think that's a good example of uh, when to uh, be down when you're riding south faces during the spring. Good habit. Back at the camping where Frederick picked me up this morning on where we're gonna stay tonight. It's been a nice day, nice to kind of have a rest day from the bike and just focus on skiing. And we uh, had a good time. The face was uh, was pretty cool. Frederick uh, decided to send it off the cliff, but uh, fortunately <laughs> it didn't go too well. He crashed the landing and tomahawked uh, all the way to the bottom almost. So that's how it goes sometimes, but um, you just gotta go for it if you feel like it, and he did, but it um, doesn't always go to plan. But now we're just gonna chill in the sun. I'm gonna relax for a good while, maybe go for a swim. Well, that was... Just good enough. 